like draft night in the books, perhaps, maybe for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, could they jump back in? They've made two selections. They stayed put at 9-20. and 20. I'm a little stunned by that, to be honest with you. I, I didn't think yeah. the Jaguars would stay at 9-20, and 20, By the way, 20. how many trades have there been? One? Been one. That's it. And, and so maybe the, the, fear, there. the fear of this is real, right? Yeah. Maybe the, the communication and, and not being in the same room and trusting the technology. Maybe people didn't want to risk that. Uh, or maybe there's just enough players to go around at this stage of it. Jags get Kalevon Chase on. Uh, Chase on. Probably not as, uh, I, I wouldn't say I was angry at the first pick. I was just a little more surprised that they picked C.J. Henderson 9. This one's a good pick. Yeah. Is this a checkmate for Yannick Ngakwe, though? I feel like the Jags got emotional in this first round. C.J. Henderson, hey, Jalen Ramsey, we got rid of you, we're going to replace you. Yeah. Hey, Yannick Ngakwe, you want to play all this drama? We're going to replace you. Checkmate. Now what? Do you get a, a 2021 pick for Jan, then? Maybe you do, if you want, or you just get a couple of seconds or a second and third. I don't know. When's the wheeling and dealing going to take place? This summer? For Yannick and Gakwe. I mean, is that how it works? I think there are more days listen, for Jan, right? Right before the season and then the trade deadline. But by that time, the trade deadline, the Jags have lost a lot of leverage. Here's where I'm at, okay? They're going to come back at 42, and they're going to get... They're going to get Pittman. They're going to get one of those wide receivers or a running back. Yeah. And then you're going to say they got a corner, got a pass rushing defensive end. Chase on, by the way, is thought of as being the second best pure pass rusher in this draft yeah. behind Young. But if the interior of your line was the weak spot, did, did you do anything to help one of your weaknesses? Schobert. Yeah. He's going to have to make. I mean, 8,000 tackles yeah, this year. Well, listen, they got a big body in Al Woods. and Avery. Yeah. They are relying on Taven Bryan, though, man. Yeah, I mean, no, they think Taven Bryan's going to do... Now, Gunter, they can move inside if Smoot plays okay. Yeah, they're, they're, but they're very young. They're Again, they're it's a take rebuild their anyway. Yeah, they're going to yeah. take their lumps. Uh, but if you get... Uh, you know, and by the way, another interesting note I just saw um, from our friend Mark Long. Fourth straight year... Top two picks from the SEC for the Jags. Yeah, the Jags have changed that around. I mean, yeah. they, they've gone away from the Gene Smith, Colorado School of the Mind stuff. Chason is um, interesting. He played his best football over the last half of the year for LSU. Um, he concentrated on basketball his sophomore year. Yeah, really good athlete. He's only played, like, not a lot of games. Yeah, which is a little surprising. That's not the MO of the Jags. They yeah. like guys that are pretty seasoned. Yeah, he's definitely not seasoned. He's about... He's probably about 10 pounds heavier than Ngakwe at most. Yeah, he is Ngakwe. Yeah. Although, although probably better against the run. Yeah. Because that's Ngakwe's knock. Right. But here's the deal. I went back and looked at this, Dan. Since 2013, uh -huh. there, if you pick between 20 and 32 yeah. in the first round, yeah. and you take defensive line or defensive end, you're really not getting a lot of bang for your buck. Now, Montez Sweat last year, yeah. and people will bring up, I think, T.J. Watt. I, he's listed as a linebacker, so yeah. it's a little different. But if you go back and look, not a lot. You have to go back to 2012 where that 20 pick or, or anything later in the first round coveted some really good return, like Chandler Jones and right. those kind of guys. Right. So I don't like the trend here. It's so weird because the Jags took a corner in the top ten. You can find corners that are productive in the NFL later in the first round. Yeah. Historically. Uh, Jaguars go against the trends here a little bit. They help their defense out. They've still done nothing really to help Gardner Minshew out. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. So, hey, good luck, Gardner. Well. <laughs> now, listen, they've got ten more picks, are, all right? The receivers are, are, yeah. They, again, I think at 42 they're going to take uh, – now they – the one other thing they could do is they could take a big body. They could take the Mat Matabuke. Matabuke from Texas A&M. Uh, Gallimore the Blacklock kid. The Blacklock. From TCU. Um, Remember now Gallimore what Paul from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. He thought the drop-off at defensive line was pretty steep yeah. after Kinlaw. And Kinlaw, yeah. Kinlaw went 14 right. to San Francisco. So I, I think here's what they need to do. Or running back. Go help the offense. I'm going to help you guys. Take two of those fourth-rounders. Get, get up in the second round. I agree. Get a couple picks in the second round. I'd like that. And then if you're going to trot me in, C.J. Henderson, Kalevon, Chase on, Chase on uh, DeAndre, Swift. DeAndre Swift, and Pittman, uh, and Pittman or Denzel Mims I mean, or somebody like, that. Somebody like or that. Or T. Higgins drops. Or T. Higgins drops. Somebody like that. Then I'll be... Okay. There has been a few guys that are a little odd, right? AJ Terrell goes higher. Not some people projected he yeah. could, uh, but who just went off the board? Um, the to nineteen, the corner uh, to the Raiders, the Ohio State kid. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, Arnett. 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 Now, he's talented, but he couldn't be troubled. A little red flag. Yeah. 
And then uh, who went? The Raider. I'm um, sorry. The Eagles did not pick uh, Jefferson, right? No, they took Rager. They took TCU. Rager from TCU. So right. that, that's an. Interesting I love one. Justin Jefferson. That's who I probably would have picked if I were the Jags. 111 catches, 18 touchdowns, six three, and smooth. Yeah, smooth. Good games against. CJ Not Anderson. even the best receiver on his team. The, the Chase kid yeah. is the best one coming out next year. He's, yeah. He might be a top five, top ten pick. Yeah, yeah. So, but this, but is I, this year. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 ex, I'm excited. I'm not sure. Cautiously optimistic. Listen, you know me, man. I'm sunshine and rainbows yeah. about this stuff. And yeah. I think I am not mad because they got a couple of things they need. Right. Uh, or could use. And, they, and, and if Jan goes away, they have pass rushers, which is a very important position. Uh-huh. Uh, now what do they get for him? How do they treat that? Are they just going to stick him on the roster and stick him on the bench and right. make him just sit? Right. Uh, what do they do? I just don't love the order of it. Uh, and yeah. so uh, maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully they're right. Uh, you know, you, that's so you would have went Kinlaw and then another one of those corners. I would have went Kinlaw or if you want, you could sell me on receiver. I didn't want offensive line. Right. Um, and then I would have gone in the second the second pick somewhere. Just go take. Raj is definitely in the sauce, by the way. Now he's doing skull. <laughs> go take, uh, go take the best corner available after that. But they would have been on their fourth corner. Yeah. No, or the fifth corner off the board. No, fourth corner off the board. Yeah. So. Let me ask you a question off, off base here. We re- Justin Jefferson just got picked to the Vikings, by the way. That yeah, makes sense. They just replaced Stefan Diggs. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Um, Why does it all fit together like a puzzle for everyone else? And yet we're sitting here scratching Let our me, heads. Because we have too many knees. Let me ask you this. New England's up. Do they take Jordan Love? Nah, they're going to take Epinesa. Okay. Safe build bet. bet. You know, he, uh, he's, he, here's the deal, man. You know what the Patriots are going to do? What? The Patriots are going to tank, and they're going to get Trevor Lawrence next year. Don't say that. They are. Patriots are going to be, you watch, they'll go like 2-14. and 14, Don't say that. And they're going to get Trevor Lawrence next year. No. They're not even going to try to fix their QB situation this year. Bill couldn't go 2-14 and 14 if he tried. <laughs> Bill, Don't say Bill, it. Bill had a bad year, he'll go 8-8. Eight eight. Plus, he needs that record, so he's got to get some, and he's not young, so he needs some dubs. You watch. Oh, man. He Don't says, say Tom, we're going to replace you. Do you think at all seriously, though, am I, off, am I off my mind that the Jags got emotional in this first round? They replaced Ramsey and now the Ngakwe stuff. Am, am, I, am, I, am I, have I seen too much TV? Yeah, well, too many no, I understand where you're coming from, but it is needs. I mean, those are needs. We had said all along, how many times did we say, 9, 20, or 42, I guarantee you, if I know one thing about this draft, the Jags are going to take a cornerback. Yeah. yeah. They had to. Yeah, yeah, Who are you going to start? And they got the Because you said don't be emotional, but then if you didn't take... C.J. Henderson, and you, now look, you could have taken Diggs or whoever, but, I mean, if you didn't take a quarter, 9, 20, or 42, who are you playing? No, no. I, now, the one, there's one guy I thought maybe, down, uh, the Bryce Hall kid from Virginia. Yeah, what, in 73 or something? Or yeah, like because four? he was injured, but I think he's going to be a good NFL player. And he's player. long, I like yeah. that. He's long. So, I would have liked that guy. And, you know, but again, Henderson, Chase on. All right, check, check, defense. Now let's go to work on the offense. Let's get two second rounders and get a uh, and get combination of running back, you know, tight end, receiver, receiver O line. Yeah, I'll be all right with that. I think they're going to pick O line in the fourth round. How about D-line, Cole? Maybe. How about Cole Komet and yeah, you know, I mean, listen, I, I, let's see. We'll help Minshew out. Will you? KJ Hamler, Chenault from Colorado. Yeah, you got plenty on the board. Ayuk, Ayuk will be gone. It was not the Jags MO. I said this from the start to pick a receiver in round one. It's not. They found Allen Robinson. They even oh, had Marquise Lee. Oh, New England traded Lee. back. For, so, of course they did. They traded back every year. Yeah. Marquise Lee, they've had they had uh DJ Chark in the second round. Yeah. They find receivers, and this is a heavy draft in yeah. the receiver. Yeah. They and, and they like Keenan McCardell. He can shape a guy up. Yeah. So that was not a surprise they didn't take one. It just would have been more fun if they did. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, hey, we got a special coming up at 11.15. CBS 47 and Fox 30, as long as there are no tornado warnings. Hope everyone's being safe Be out safe, there. safe, for sure. And uh, we'll take a look at what this means for the Jaguars on the TV side. We better get to work. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Ten more picks for the Jags. Ten more. No, six more. <laughs> Trade them all. Two in the second, two in the third. Action Sports Jacks Primetime, Saturday at 10.30 on Fox 30.